Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, the Percherons have arrived to Yorvik and I'm really excited to check out this draft breed. They seem like they're really popular already and I'm super excited, so let's go. So all of the Percherons except one will be at Marley's farm and the other one will be available at Fort Pinta. All of them will cost 850 star coins and the one at Fort Pinta you can get immediately and to get the other variations you must be at least level 7 and the colors are light gray, dapple gray, dark dapple gray, black, chestnut, and bay and they have two main styles available. And it has a special animation called the Moose Walk. So that's pretty much all I have to say about these horses for right now. So let's go and get started. It looks like they are over here. And the first one is right over here. This is the gray. And it looks quite nice. It looks really detailed. This will probably not be my favorite coat color since, you know, it's a plain one. I'll get off of my horse for a closer look at it though. It has, was that brown eyes? It keeps putting its head down. Um, but the coat looks really detailed. Okay, here's its eyes. They look brown, like a light brown. And yeah, its coat looks, I mean, pretty detailed. I mean, it's a gray, so it's not gonna have a ton of detailing in this. I have a feeling I won't buy this one. Um, the other colors are over here, and this must be the black one. They look like a really, really tall horse, like, compared to this Arabian. Its head looks so tall. I think it has brown eyes. I don't know if it has any sort of, like, white in it, any kind of markings. I think it's, like, a solid black color. I don't even know if it has a face marking. It would have to be under its forelock. Um, I mean, again, that one is not my favorite, so let's see about this flaxen chestnut. There's a lot of people, so let's see if I can click on it. I like this one a lot more than the other ones, definitely not as plain, and yeah, it looks really nice. Brown eyes as well, and I'm seeing more detailing on the coat. It almost looks like dapples, and then down here, I really like all of the, um fur details and how it looks like but yeah these are like dapples and this looks really nice so this might be one of the ones that I buy then we have the dark dapple gray brown eyes and it definitely has detailing with the dappling again I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of this one it is really pretty with all of the details but um, I might prefer for example the lighter dapple gray to this one and is there any more oh here's the bay um by the oh this one is super super pretty and it does have a face marking right here i don't know this one might be my favorite or i like it at least as much as the fox and chestnut so yeah as i was saying all of the coat colors have come out today i'm really liking this bay one it's a really nice color like I said, there is still one coat color in Fort Pinta, and that must be the light dapple gray, so I'm going to head over there and see if I want to buy that one. On this dark dapple gray, I like the darker part of the coat, but it's really just the head part that is a lighter color, and I wish more of the horse would be this lighter color, not just the head. I think it looks a bit weird that just the head is that really light um, color, otherwise it, the horse looks super cute. So over here we have the light dapple gray looking very very pretty. I love the pink muzzle and this one actually has different colored eyes than the rest of them. It looks like it has light blue eyes and I don't know why but this horse, like just the way it looks, it looks like it's super tired or something. I don't know if it's just me who thinks that but if you think these horses look like they're really tired or something like that, I don't know. This horse has so much detail in its coat. I love how the mane curls like this. And yeah, it does have light blue eyes. Lots of details on the face as well. You can see a lot of details on its face. The idle animations are really nice. Like you can see like the veins even and the muscles. 
It looks really nice. Um, I think I might buy the light dapple gray. So for this horse, I think this name fits it really well, Fairy Dust. I think it's like a magical name, and I don't know, this horse just, I don't know, I feel like it fits it well, Fairy Dust. So let's buy this one. And I bought my first Percheron horse, and I almost want to check out this horse before I buy any others just to make sure I'm okay with the gates and animations to make sure I really like this horse. Um, I usually don't do it right away, but I just want to make sure I like this horse and I want to see how it looks right away, so I'm going to go into my home stable. Here again is this horse. It has the special mane. And it also has a new bridle, which I haven't talked about the new bridles yet, um, but they did come with some new bridles that I will check out um, pretty soon. It looks like that darker dapple gray is a pretty popular choice. This horse does look like a giant. I'm going to compare it to my Gotland, which I'm riding, and it looks like it is pretty much twice its size. It is giant. I wonder if it's like taller than the Frisian because I think the Frisian right now is the biggest horse in the game or definitely one of the biggest newer horses. It looks like the Percherons are the tallest horse now. They are definitely taller than the um, Frisian which I thought the Frisian was really big. So I'm gonna get back on Fairy Dust and test out this horse but yeah this one oh my gosh it's gonna be really really good for pictures so now i'm gonna take a look at this horse's animations i was surprised that you can still fit leg wraps on these horses even though they are a draft breed and then i also want to take a look at what the um boots look like on this horse i think these look better on this horse um, then these, these, these look really big on this horse, so I might keep the boots on these horse. But this is the idle animation. It looks like it's pretty calm, not too much movement. Um, yeah, this is just the idle animation, nothing too special. And now for the walk, it looks pretty good. It looks like a very strong horse. The trot looks really nice. The canter. I feel like I liked the canter more in the trailer than right now. The slow gallop looks good. Um, it looks like the behind of the horse is like going down. I don't know, it looks, I don't know, it looks like it's like really going down. It looks kind of weirdly shapen. And then the fast gallop, oh I really like this one. It looks like it's really fierce and it's powerful. The hard, oh that's an interesting hard stop. It really, I don't know, it's really, the way it did that, that is different. I'm gonna like do it again. Yeah, I don't know, I would almost want to see it in slow motion. Like, I don't know, it goes into like a trot and it takes little steps. The rear, pretty fast. It kind of makes like a weird face. Um, kind of like the Frisians. It has like its mouth open. And then just turning around, pretty simple. Backing up, pretty simple. I'll take a look at the jump. Pretty good. I'm gonna go over this little thingy. Looks pretty good. Doesn't look too high. Doesn't look like it's flying over it. I now want to look at the special movement, so I think it's one of those shift ones. So I'll go into a walk, press shift, and then this. Oh, this is the special animation. Okay, so this is called like the moose walk. This looks pretty good, so I guess it's 
I don't know if it's a form of a tolt, but it looks similar, definitely not as fast. Our characters are extremely stiff, like we're not moving a muscle, um, but that looks good. I also want to take a look at the special main style for this horse that has some really pretty braids. So first I'll go through all of them. Oh, I really hate this one on this horse. The braids, you can see the, um, if I can get a good view, you can see like the two different colors, which if you watched yesterday's video where I did a trailer reaction, you know that I didn't like seeing the two different like shades, um, the two different like colors in its mane like this. And then we have this style, this one, and then the braids, which again, Actually this one, yeah, I don't know, I really don't like it, um, how it looks with the two different colors. I forgot this one would have the two different colors. I'm definitely not going to change the mane. I like it loose like this. And let me just see, but I think in its gallop the mane, yeah, the mane, in, the mane moves. Um, so it's not like stiff there. Um, I do want to go back to Marley's to see if I want to buy any more of this horse. I mean, it definitely isn't my favorite breed ever, but I don't hate it. Um, it is a really big horse, so that's what I'm getting used to. So, for the other horse that I decided on, I decided on the Bay, and I had trouble with the name, but I'm just going to go with Rising Star, and I don't know what else to name it, so let's just go with Rising Star. And that was the Bay Percheron, and I really like this horse. I mean, I think it's still pretty detailed. You don't see like a lot of fur texture, but the shading is good. It's not all one color, and um, I mean, it's pretty good. Again, it's not my favorite horse breed ever. I can zoom it onto the coat because I don't think you can see too much for detailing even though it's a draft horse you see like a little bit here um not too too much i wish it had a little bit more since it is a draft horse and you would expect like more fur but the face is really detailed and i'm happy about that there was also some new baroque bridles that are available for the percheron and the bridles are available in the global store and also in Jarlheim next to Linda's house. So these broke bridles are exclusive to some horses. Um, the Finn horse, the Gotland pony, the Frisian, the Arabian, and now this horse. And I'll also put the list on the screen so you can see and um, hopefully in the future they'll be available for even more generation 3 horses. So let's take a look at these bridles. This is pretty much the last thing that I have to discuss. So I'm going to open up the global store since it's easier. It looks like there's a bit of a glitch here or I don't know. I mean you could see the bridle but you don't see the bridle like you do here. Anyways, the first one is the brown and brass baroque bridle. They do have stats, swiftness 3. Oh, and this is what this one looks like. 
looks pretty fancy i mean not for me let's take a look at the other ones oh this one's all white it's called the white one and then this one i'm assuming is the black then this one and then this one again oh it's white and silver i'm like how oh it's different because of that piece and then this one well this one looks nice the black with the silver i like that better than the well the black and gold is nice too um i mean the bridles look really nice i don't know if i would ever use them or buy them they are the same price as any exclusive bridle for any horse 9,000 Yorvik shillings or 90 star coins um i mean yeah i like them my favorite would probably be maybe the black and silver but comment down below what you think of the bridles and if you'll buy any of them. I don't have enough money right now and I don't think I own any exclusive bridle, I just own, you know, the usual ones. I'm happy with those, but let me know what you think of the new bridles. And lastly, to end off the video, I'm going to share the teaser for next week. So coming next week, Maya gets her very own horse. Will you join her on this special quest? So we have a quest with Maya Du, and hopefully we get to learn about um, that Du's farm that has been abandoned in Epona for so many years, ever since we unlocked it. We don't know much about that stable, and it's just abandoned and we can't use it so hopefully we get some really nice quests with maya and get to learn more about her family and about that place and i don't know if they'll include alex in those quests because lately in the comics on star Stables instagram there's been some um news with alex and maya so we'll have to see what happens but i'm very excited for some new quests and as you can see i'm almost level 22 so that will probably bump me up next week to level up i hope you enjoyed today's video i'd love to know what you thought of these percheron horses um i'm really liking this bay i've been looking at it for a while and it's growing on me so comment down below if you bought any or if you're planning to buy any, how many you bought, what you named them, all that. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and turn on notifications so you know every single time I make a new video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!